yeah. Which is which is essentially how that went. Um, so with that, the uh, party has continued to move towards the city of Centralia, which is the capital city of this land. And uh, the, the reason for doing so, for arriving there, is that in their hometown of Whiskerton, there was a murder of a noble who was their patron, and the essentially the kingdom authorities came by to investigate, declared it to be sedition, and uh, basically took everyone in the small town as captives to stand trial in the city. Uh, and in the absence of the people of the town, goblins moved in. There was a whole there was a whole snafu that they had, their sidekicks handled. But um, so they're going to the central city, the capital city, to uh, presumably rescue the town folk. Got it. Um, and a lot of this is going to uh, just kind of be a little bit play by ear. There is a overall arc story, um, but let's just kind of see where this goes. Wait, what game is it? <laughs> what? I'm just kidding. Yeah, exactly. This is, we're just we're just gonna start throwing dice and see what happens. Um, so let's see the party, the party, the party. You guys are. Traveling from the port to uh, the outskirts of the city, you're actually going with a large caravan that's kind of moving uh, goods, spices, herbs, and various uh, just things from ships that would be going towards the sea. There's some, there's a cart full of rugs, you know, things of that nature. Um, mm -hmm. As you arrive to the city, you see. The city is, is a sprawling mass, and it starts to get a little bit more dry. It gets more arid. This is more of a desert landscape that's up against a mountainside. Um, the city has a huge central spire, and at the base of that spire uh, is a is just a swarm of towers around it. Um, can you guys hear the kid? I hear there? you. No, I don't hear anybody. Okay, that's great. Good. She's yelling at the dog. I'm just glad I'm picking up. Great. Um, let's share this scene. So, as you guys are traveling with this okay. you're leaving the smuggler's port, the jungle of the coast gives way to a desert. You see caravans of traders, food, spices, um, Coming in from the direction the guards around the city are pointedly looking in any other direction other than your groups because you have arrived with the smugglers group. There seems to be an unspoken acknowledgement that if you come from that port, your business is your own, and the city guard of the area are letting you pass without any questioning. Caravans that come from that direction. So as you enter into the city, the center of the city has this huge tower spire, but at the base of that tower spire is a large arena. And as you all are approaching and walking through the city, there's merchants left and right, and you see uh, some some things, handouts. There's a city scryer. Crier. City crier. Uh, reads, extra, extra, tonight only, special event at the arena, justice brought to despicable town folk for murder of mage's son. Minotaur champion, to make a special appearance, bring your whole family. High regent Herzog, to conduct opening ceremony. And other news, chaos in South Pines, as entertainment troupe massacres entire town. Witnesses say divine intervention stop the insanity. High regent son declared in this. Hey! Burner. Hey, we made the front page. <laughs> Bulletin. Well, thanks. Um, as you as you all are traveling, you do see one. Uh, someone in our party roll perception. Oh God. Ah, uh, not good. 
There you go. You spot a shadowy figure kind of tailing you um, as you all arrive. It seems like this person was watching for you to arrive uh, at this caravan and has just been running from corner to corner, keeping an eye on you, um, your group. Can I alert uh, Kay and, and uh, the princess and try and like steer us to a dark, like try and get them to follow us down a dark alley where we can confront them? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Let's go, man. So, I'm going to go ahead and say, on your trip, you've had a short rest. Um, it wouldn't be more than a few hours. A long rest is what? Four hours? No. Eight hours. Long eight rest is eight hours. hours. Yeah, it would have been a short rest. It would have been less than eight hours. Probably. Um, so if you head into the alley... Um, are you guys going to? What is your plan once you're in the? Are you? Going well, to if he follows us back day? there, then uh, we need to confront him. I guess. I don't know how we could like somebody get behind them. Although, honestly, I think it's Andy. We're not going to fight him, but it could not be. I don't know. We should just turn around and confront them in the alleyway, right? I'm not about no spy shit. That's my shit. Uh. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And it's the big hairy one. As someone who was busy rolling hit die, I agree with Kay's plan. Let's do this. What'd you, what were you saying? Well, okay, then I'll do that then. I'll do that. So they want to duck off. I'll be like, I'll sneak off and I'll try to uh, work my way around the person who's tailing us so I can tell him tailing us into the alleyway. You, uh, As you turn the corner, you see this person who followed you from the smuggler's port. Um, some distance behind you turn into the alleyway and suddenly stop short. You all are uh, as a large bugbear is standing before her. She was oh, okay. tailing and thought she was unnoticed by but someone was thought... very high. <laughs> no! We... I am confused. What just happened? Did I do the thing? Caught up to this person? The spy? Yeah, they, I mean, oh. you just turn the corner, and she turned the corner, and you guys basically, I don't want to say ran headfirst into each other, but, you know, like, when you're both carrying something, and you turn the corner, and you hit something, and they drop it, and it's like, oh! <laughs> oh, yeah. I guess I'd just look at them very pointedly and be like, are you looking for something? Oh, oh uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she blushes here. Oh, um, here. This is from the uh, commander of the Nine Hands. And she hands you a note, and it says, uh, meet outside the arena before the event. Nine Hands, uh, M. M. Layeth. Cool. I'll I snatch the note. Shit, boys, it's working out for us. Looks like our. It's all. Uh, are we we, we got to work it out for us. To the arena. I have I have one question though. Are all are all the members of your organization hot redheads? Because I, I don't. <laughs> it, if that's the case, I I need to be, I need to be boosted up in membership. Post haste. You know, those uh, are just the only ones you pay attention to. She goes. What? Yeah, you know, goes. Oh, I think that's all by design. She goes, her name's Uday Chush. And she goes, yeah, this is, um, this is, the, the commander is the one who, uh, tends to recruit. And, uh, yeah, we all kind of sit, sit at a certain profile. I think. Of <laughs> course, <laughs> Jean Grey. <laughs> all right, to the arena. Sexy, deadly bat. Okay, um. Molotov cocktails. <laughs> 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 I like that. That's a, I've never heard that. I like it. 
That's uh, Venture. from Venture Brothers. Yeah. Yay, go Team Venture. <laughs> um, you all head into the arena, and I'm going to... As you're approaching the arena, you see the crowds are starting to gather outside. Um, just masses of people being funneled in between large uh, arches that lead into the arena. Um, you all will be going through the stands if you want, but... Did the note say to meet up outside? Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you... Guys, right. so what's the plan? So, well, now people... we have a piece of paper that says go to the arena. Did y'all have this yeah, last right. time? No. Oh. Yeah. Right. Or they, or go in and they were, or go in as gladiators ourselves. Like, I think it's like trial by combat. So either we fight for them or we fight, or we like pretend to be the gladiators and try and oh, yeah. like fail. Yeah, I don't know if I want to out ourselves and fight for them, yeah. especially because the, 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 la the other thing on the piece of paper was the thing that we had done. Or somebody, wait, was it just? Yeah, I don't remember. We did that, so I don't want to get in trouble in this big city. But yeah, if the nine hands are here, they're the ones in charge. They're like the they highest know. organization that we have contact with here. I, I would just go and hear them out if they got an idea to. Yeah, let's talk. Yeah, yeah, let's them. see what let's, they think. Yeah. If they got they're a way to do it. And redheaded, so <laughs> let's go talk to them. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I just uh, think red hair is smart. It's not. A, I mean, I've got. I I value the red hair that I have. Some of it's got a red tint. I just I don't yeah. like. It's not a sexual thing. I just it's a hair thing. If now for me, <laughs> for me, it's very sexual. You would believe the places I have hair. Uh, it's everywhere. <laughs> yeah, it is. I've been meeting. I've been meaning to talk to except you about you're, that. I've except seen... you're in my reverse mustache. Don't forget. Reverse mustache. Oh my god, that's true. What, the... have a reverse mustache. what is a reverse so, mustache? They don't. Have I have hair, hair everywhere, so they I have just hair shaved everywhere else but their upper lip. It's weird. I shaved. Oh the Jesus! Shape of a mustache. It's really bizarre to think about. I don't it's know, it makes me really uncomfortable. <laughs> um, so yeah, you see. See, uh, there's a uh, just the crowds of people. The, the event is going to be beginning, be starting soon, but this is kind of like uh, it'll probably be a few hours, and people are already gathering outside, kind of gossiping among themselves, getting purchasing tickets and buying different uh, knickknacks and, and things that are being sold. Um, you do as you're passing by. Uh, somebody roll a more of a this is not a perception check it is more of a more of an insight check someone, someone roll insight ooh 21 ooh. hey hey <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are looking for tell me what's sign. in their soul yeah you guys are looking for any sign of the red uh, of the nine hands and you come across <laughs> of the red heads the, <laughs> that almost came out yeah nine, nine hands nine red you come heads. across a, uh, a small little uh, merchant shop with a very peculiar strange uh, for lack of a better word, creature, um, a small bullywug is standing outside, and he's selling little trinkets, but they're almost entirely useless. However, on each of the trinket is a little tiny, uh, like, uh, like stamp of hand that looks like this, mm. and on top of each other. Um, I'm going to pull up what this little guy looks like, because he's adorable. 
How are his teeth? What? Tramp stamp, you say? Of course. Uh, I don't know. Is it is now, is now the time to be uh, you know, looking for trinkets and stuff to bring back to our family members and stuff? Oh, 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 oh. yeah, yeah. We should, yeah, we should look at we should look at these. Yeah, the secret symbol, of course. Give <laughs> <laughs> me a second. Simply looks up and goes, uh, goods for sale. Goods for sale. Would do you like the goods? Oh, is that the guy? Hold on. I... Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. We have many uh, rare goods for sale. For, for the big event you want to uh, show off your little tiny trinkets. I'll take care of this, guys. I'll lean in and go, Good sir. My girlfriend, I'm, I'm looking for my girlfriend with a fiery crotch. <laughs> you, uh, she has you red, must... red head, the nine hands. I had nine hands, man. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah. Nine. Shh, you Does the carpet match the drink? Subtlety, man. Subtlety. You have. Mm. <laughs> what are you talking <laughs> about? There's no one more subtle than I am. Anyone who says differently is going to get shot. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're, you're very frightening. You're, you are adorable. You remind me of oh, oh, my boss. See, oh, see. Listen, listen, frog me. I, 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 like, I see the image pieces. of the boss, but uh, see the pieces. See the pieces. I can't put them together. We should have these, right? We should buy these from you and have them for oh, later? Just, just for inside knowledge, they are completely uh, working. It's just oh, little clay pots. They break I... apart if you touch them too much. Don't buy them. Well, maybe we should just all have them. What are these you can hang on to it. It'll, it'll just disintegrate. Yeah, go ahead. I just This is a scam. It's a front <laughs> It's a scam. So you have information, then? Yes. We we'll were give looking it to for you. your group. We were looking for your group. They mm -hmm. are uh, the boss lady. She is, uh, she is looking specifically to uh, meet you in, in the stands. Uh, I think that uh, I think that she wants to have a discussion. Particularly with the man with the guns. He's, she's very... I, uh, around, I just throw my hands up like, this is our contact. Cool. Uh, do you know where she is exactly? I'm going to roll an insight check on this little fucker. That's a 12. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, my trustworthy fellow. Tell me where the... <laughs> Let us know where this where she is in the stands, and we'll uh, be subtle about it. Oh, Jesus! Sorry. Did you just fire that gun <laughs> <laughs> into a crowd? No, I. It kind of backfired. Let me. Uh, I, I spent an action to fix it. <laughs> Next time when it goes off, it'll go. It'll shoot. That's good. <laughs> you shoot accidentally. It'll... Okay, it's not a perfect you, uh, He's working on it, okay? Here's the deal. You guys go into the crowd, look for the woman in gray. Uh, she is looking for your whole group, but specifically for this one here. Um, that is all I know. I'm not paid enough to know more. Wow, I wow. A messenger. Okay, okay. Good. Hey, do you want work. to buy some? Do you want to buy some pottery? I walk away from this person very hard. Didn't have to be rude, but okay. <laughs> I toss I toss him a gold, and then I head out. And he, and he bites it because I feel like this is fake gold, but <laughs> he had that kind of shittiness. Um. Okay. So, uh... let's go kill that rock. <laughs> you all are. Uh, 
I, I do want to also just mention that um, as you're going through the crowd, uh, Jude is also with you during this. Mm. I don't know what he's doing. He's probably just following along and, and keeping people's hands off of his pet dragon. Well, hey, look, how long do we want to just keep uh, following the nine hands from like uh, point to point? Like, what do we, th when are we going to make like some kind of plan or, or scope stuff out? Do you think we should maybe split up? And since looking for uh, Ito is so hard, he should go. Maybe someone else can have a different view on it or vantage or something like that. Or should the I've been trying to get you guys to make a plan for like a day and a half now. <laughs> what do you think we should do, Princess? Yeah, princess, you're old. Uh, discuss a plan. Like, we talk about it and figure out what to do. Because, like, okay, well, we could go in there and just, like, fight everybody, I guess. And I can, like, rain down lightning and octopuses and shit. But well, fucking, yeah. maybe we can just go and, like, talk to the fucking judge and try to work out something with them, you know? There's a judge? Well, there's I mean, somebody in charge of this whole goddamn thing. I, it's a trial by combat. Someone would be in charge. I think talking to the princess is the, the the leader of the nine hands would be the princess. So that would be a high enough person to get us in contact with that person. If you want to talk to them, I guess. But I mean, we could also just like find out who, like, there's a local, like you know, police person or a magistrate or some shit, and we just go and talk to them. And be like, yeah, who makes the rules? Who's the judge? Who decides? I'm a okay. friggin' princess. I got some some weight I can throw behind stuff, you know, like promises from my queen mom and stuff. Do okay. we know anything about this city? It's people, government. Have any of us been here before? Uh, so you have a vague... You're pretty worldly-ish. I would imagine when I'm sober. Point, yeah, at some point you ran through the city and, and um, probably had to run out. Uh, I can I say that? How about yeah? I'll I'll meet the I'll meet with the nine hands leader and you two scope out and talk to guards. And I, can I like give them all the information that I have on this place? Yeah, and. I'm gonna go ahead and spoil a little thing. You, you, you oh, grew God. up. Um, just this was like I did. initial hunting grounds, yeah, and then eventually you moved on. But at a certain point, I had to get out and yeah. not come back. Okay. I then imagine I'm it was you having to leave. <laughs> then I'm definitely like hood so up, towel up, and not. I'm trying. Then I'm actually being more subtle than I normally am. I'll uh. You guys, uh, you guys talk to the guards, and I'll I'll give them the location of like where like the information booth in front of the Coliseum is. But does Ito does Ito trust the the guards and the government here? Because we're trying to save, uh, or we're trying to what? Uh, we're <laughs> what? <laughs> then what about Ito or Trey says I trust the police? That's what <laughs> I'm saying. <laughs> 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 no. well, it's not necessarily whether or not Ito trusts the police. What I'm trying to does not. The, the plan that I'm thinking of is yeah. that we. Um, yeah, you don't have to trust the cops to get information from them. Well, I mean, like if yeah. Ito grew up here, then can we just like can will Ito just know like what the judicial system is to some degree? You know, is it a judge? Is like how does that whole process work? Like. Yeah, I, or are they just being? You know where like town hall is, where we would be like, okay, that's where you would go to talk to whoever's in charge of these people's trial. Is it a king? Is it a uh, fucking? Yeah. yeah. Go ahead and uh, Ito, go ahead and roll history. All right. Oh, and what, what are the people? Like, too? Oh my God, are they all bloodthirsty decades or ten? Medic. Ten. So. You grew up here, and you know that this is a kingdom. It's run by a king who uh, had some... Back in the day, there was some kind of uh, scandal, and he kind of disappeared from the public eye for a bit. 
-hmm. but uh, in this place, the uh, standing regent took up, uh, who was his second in command, his archmage, took up the reins and has been uh, basically taking, sitting on the throne. And the archmage is the Herzog guy. That's correct. Okay, that's that's what I thought from before. It's like the king has two people that are he's a figurehead and he's got two people whispering in his ear, the princess, uh, sorry, the queen and the archmage. Archmage is Herzog and the queen is in charge of the night hands. Handmaids. But the yeah. queen is basically um she's active in exile like she's basically uh been stripped of power by Herzog and has been working uh, behind the scenes to establish this secret network. Which yeah, but part of okay. publicly so, appeal to leadership if it's a fascist. So, like, right? Okay, so Herzog is the pe person that we fucked over. He's the one who wants us dead. And he's in charge of would he be in charge of this trial? Or would it be someone else? He is opening the ceremony. He will be standing, judge, jury, and execution. Gross. We have to get him out. Let's just go kill Herzog. Dude, I'm saying from the start, from the first session. Can we talk about why why there's a player character named Slut Dragon? <laughs> named what? <laughs> Slut Dragon. <laughs> yeah, Rob, you want to take that one? <laughs> uh, Slut Dragon was another guest player who came in, and it was her first time playing D&D, okay. and she's like, I just want to be named Slut Dragon. And she started as a joke, but we forced her to keep it. <laughs> and she said, yeah, no. Okay, anymore. good. Say no more. Yeah. <laughs> Say no more. We are going to do whatever. It's like... I don't care what bullshit backstory you have to make up, but my name is going to be Slut Dragon. <laughs> right. like, Should I keep it? And I'm like, done, dude. Yeah. Start it. It's over. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Princess. So, how are we going like to kill Herzog? Yeah. Uh, we got to sneak in. It's like every time. We're going to have to infiltrate, uh, identify the people we guys uh, got to rescue, make sure they don't die, and then see if we can kill Herzog in the process. He's going to be a uh, leader of the opening exactly. ceremonies. Would you like to do that at the opening ceremonies or before? Yeah, I think before. Let's try to catch him in, like, you know, his green room when he's getting his makeup on. And we oh, just fucking important. charge in there and kill him. And then we just go. And then we go get our guys. How many? How many members of the Herzog family are there? Are still alive that I know of. <laughs> um. So there basically there was three sons. One so is the one that died. Okay, one died. That was the one that we sons. were with, and then the other one was the one that we met at the monster factory place. There's a second. There's a third son that we haven't met. There's Tom York, uh, the one Vincent. Fuck you. That died, and then there's yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then there's Frederick. So. Frederick is currently captured by your squad. Good, uh, Vincent was killed, and Tom York is the last remaining son. Who is okay. Let's go kill Tom York. At his father's side. And uh, no, uh, it's it's Tom York and the and the father. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, Mother is conspicuously missing. All right. Yeah. Can we just go to the? I guess if the Coliseum is where this is happening, that's probably where Tom York is. Yeah, so maybe our rogue can go sneak around the Coliseum and try to find out if there's like a a place where Tom York is holding out until the ceremony begins. Let's do you guys, well, you guys, you know, I'll hang back and like survey some shit and, um, you know, find some back some, entrances. You know, Andy comes with a wizard, then we can have more of a, a cool plan. I don't know. But yeah. I. Uh, uh, Okay, I'll meet, wants to do some kind of surveillance, so that's, I think, what I want to do. Head into the Coliseum, K scouts, and we meet the queen. All right. Um, let's go. go oh, wait, K, K isn't doing the reconnaissance? Yeah, I am. K is doing, yeah, he is. Okay. 
Okay, where, what is Lua doing? I'm, um, I'm going to say that Jude is probably just going to follow... Uh, Jude is going to probably just go into the stands and sit down. And yeah. That's what I'll just tell him. I'll be like, I'll be like, look, Jude, you just sit here, remain, you know, super subtle. If anything goes off, you'll be able to spot it. You know what to do. And that is, you know, fireball, fire attack. We'll have a fireball attack waiting in the Whatever happens. Uh, Lua is um, going with uh, Trey. The hell is Trey? Sorry, with uh, <laughs> Speaking Eo. nonsense. My bad. This isn't the Feywild. Okay. <clears throat> um, Kay, uh, describe to me a little bit of what you're doing, and, and we're going to roll some rolls and see where you get. I guess just like going into the... The whole arena, I mean, I want to see, like, what the guard situation is sure. and whether these guys are all, like, part of, like, whether I think they would be a problem, um, like, with uh, if they answer to Herzog. Like, if it looks like two factions or just one, it's probably just all Herzog's dudes. But, like, yeah. And any yeah. entrances into, and any entrances into, like, the back where you think. Yeah, yeah and I'm also just, like, walking, might be. like testing. Like, um, like if I see two guards by an entrance or a walkway, I'll, like, go over there and just see if I can, like, walk through. They say, don't, oh, like, oh, sorry, whatever. You know, like, testing the entrances and the security and stuff like that, seeing where I can get in. Dude, so you're walking by, and you see this one doorway, and there's two guards that are standing by the doorway. Um, uh-huh. These guys are dressed, uh, they're, the guards around this arena look serious. They're not or podunk town guard right folk. These guys are a little bit more uh, a little bit more seasoned than your typical uh, they have actual hit points. Yeah, they they've got some they've got some like beard on their chins. They're not green. Um, they're sitting there talking to each other. Uh, do you, what do you want to do? Do you want to listen to them? Do you want to approach them? Do you want to try and walk past them? What's your what, what's your action plan? Uh, I guess I want to um, I just want to like act like I'm walking around, looking around. Maybe I'm looking for something, uh, and I just like don't notice them, and I try to just like walk, you know, past whatever spot they're guarding. I act like it's I don't see them, and I just they, uh, they hold up their hand as you approach, and they, they put a hand they put a hand on your chest. Go, oh, 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 sorry. Put my hands up. Uh, gladiators. Gladiators. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, you look like the sort, but uh, are you entering the arena today? Uh, I don't know, man. I kind of, it's my first day here. I'm still walking around and, uh, you know, seeing, I'm looking for my friend and the, I'm kind of lost, man. But this is, this is the gladiators. Okay, well then. Sorry, this okay. is restricted access. That'll help. That'll help. All right. Appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess walk away, but I guess I want to walk away and then maybe see if they get back to talking to what they were talking about. Roll perception. 19. Okay. As you're listening, they go, <clears throat> so anyways, like I was saying, the commander, she is just about had it up to here. I, I mean, with all this, the town, this town has just gone to shit ever since you know what happened. I mean, I'm on her side. We gotta, we gotta have real rules. We don't know what the laws are anymore. We just do what they tell us. I mean, uh, you know that's not what she's like. Okay, and that's what you hear. When she says, he says, "Commander," does he is he talking about Commander of the Nine Hands? No. The queen. Um, rule one more time. Perception. What? One more time. Fucking three. You hear Commander, and it's like, Commander. <laughs> you don't hear so, the actual name. But, uh, but I, do, I do have it right, though. So the leader of the Nine Hands is the queen, but she's out of power? She's secretly the leader of the Nine Hands? Did I, am I making that up? Who do we know to be the leader of the Nine Hands? 
you know the queen to be the leader of the night hands. However, there are the handmaidens who are her basically chiefs of action. Okay. I thought um, I heard I thought I heard I like a commander of the nine hands, and I thought that was the same command. But be a commander of the guard who is not beholden to the nine hands, but you don't know who that person is just yet. You missed you hmm. missed the name. Well, I don't know. This is the most interesting thing. I might um and if we're still on me, I want to go back to those guys and be like, uh, you know, that gladiator thing sounded pretty interesting. Uh, how do I sign up for that? I've been in a couple scrapes. Well, if you're wanting to put down a fight, you can head on in and talk to the um, talk to the other gladiators. Uh, we got uh, they're, they're pretty. See if they'll join your group, little married men. Uh, I think, I think if you head in there now, you might be able to catch them before the before the show starts. Okay, okay, let me go catch. They, you enter. Yeah, I want to go that way. Okay, when you enter, uh, they they raise a metal gate, and as you enter in, you you hear the gate close behind you, and you see them kind of cross their uh, glaives behind it. Um, but that's how it was when I got there, right? It, it was. Okay. You got in. Okay. Um, as you go into the, uh, as you go into the kind of mm, changing room, or I don't know what would be the prior room to a yeah. gladiator yeah. arena. <laughs> well, you had it right. This is the green room. But yeah, the gladiators green have a green room. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah, where they put on their makeup and shit. Um, yeah, totally. <laughs> Uh, you are greeted by the uh, image of a very uh, unique crowd of individuals um, sitting there, kind of like wrapping their arms. There is a very large minotaur who is uh, sitting on a bench, just kind of getting ready, like like sharpening his uh, great sword, great axe. What do you got? Kopesh. Oh, he's the Minotaur. <laughs> yeah. A Kopesh. Like the Egyptian, like, you know, the sword that's like at weird angles, you know? Hey! Yeah. There's a, uh, a, a, a pretty boy, purple, who is um, sitting there and he's, he's like putting on some like uh, uh, boxing wraps around his hand and he's just like, like quaffing his hair. Hmm. And there is a man with a, a mustache who is uh he's like sharpening a sword. Cool. Um so but none of these people are from town, right? I don't recognize any towns but still, right? No, these are not these are not your the people you are looking for. Um Okay. I'm gonna tell me Justin, what is what does your character look like? Oh, oh I am um I'm a bugbear. Uh, mm -hmm. super tall, super lanky, very hairy, uh, you know, the ears, all the stuff, classic, um, he's got some, he's almost got like a, the cat from Five Old Goes West, his friend. Oh, yeah, I remember Five Old Goes West, yeah. Like the cat friend from, th from there, but also, uh, uh, a Dutch from Predator. So he's got like the, the polo okay. shirt on, his fur yeah. is just busting out of it. Uh, and he's yeah. got a reverse mustache. Uh, and he looks pretty tough. He's a fighter and a rogue, so like, yeah, this dude is pretty scrappy. Um, and I, and when he sees a minotaur, he's like, oh, oh my god! And he goes to talk to him. Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. uh, you guy. To, um, to somebody else. <laughs> okay. Um, we'll get back to the scene in just a sure. little bit. I'm gonna jump to. Uh, our rogue gunslinger, Lua the Druid, and uh, Jude, who is kind of tagging along. Who's who's there? Who is also there? Shit, am I fucking up? What? Mm -hmm. No, Jude's not there. Jude's in, the Jude's in the stands waiting. I'm yeah. the rogue. Uh, Ido and oh. Druid are yeah. heading to meet Ido's person. I was, yeah, let's jump to Ido and Lua. That's what I was mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, right. right. You're a fighter, not a rogue. Right? Yeah. Okay. I'm both. I'm both. More a lover than anything else. 
<laughs> so, You're right about that. Uh, you and Lua head into the crowd. You're going to do a little bit of crowd work. Um, you, uh, the mass of people are starting to go uh, disperse into the crowds. Each of people are bringing food and drinks and um, starting to, to like sit down. And there's a low kind of roar uh, of quiet, uh, growing sound as people file into the stands of this empty, currently empty arena. Well, the arena is filling in, but the pit is uh, just sand right now. Oh. The events have not begun. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to find uh, the woman in gray. Is, well, there. Yeah, she's looking for you, too. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 Um, roll a uh, perception check. Whew, that was close. Uh, 20. Natural. <laughs> not, not natural. 15 oh. plus 5. Still. Um, looking around the crowd, you are looking for a woman in gray. Um, the people in, in the in the stands are kind of wearing this kind of like a, like a beige, that's the general color is beige and red um, of this city. Basically everything is beige. But uh, looking in the, in the crowd, you see an older woman who is standing at the top of one of the bleachers. She's wearing a, uh, a wide brim gray hat. And uh, well, what she's looks Kentucky, to be she, she's Kentucky dark Derby sunglasses. Yet? Yeah, what looks to be dark sunglasses. Wow. Big fan. Some white <laughs> shoes. Yeah. Uh, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll try and make my way up there. Is it like a restricted? No, it's this is just in the in the sand. Awesome. Go to, yeah, I'll just head up there. As as you approach, uh, the woman looks towards you, and lowers her sunglasses and goes. Good lord, you look just as bad as the day I last saw you. Um, you look Hello? up. Roll for confused. See the woman <laughs> who raised you. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> not <laughs> really familiar at all. <laughs> oh, God damn it. She goes, you know, it took me literally becoming head of a secret organization to get you back to this city. Do you know what kind of worry and what kind of trouble you put me through? Yeah. And you if, don't even write? You don't even call? Well, if I knew that it was you, mother, I would have been doing more damage. <laughs> you know <laughs> me? I would have been giving you more trouble. Jesus. And naturally, you, I And also nine... Idea. Jesus, nine hands? What are you... <laughs> Is that is that the name you came up with? This, it, the second I left, creativity left this city with me. I, I'll I'll tell you that much. So it also left a great case of the STDs that were going around this city. I that is wow. all right. Fair. Fucking mom slam. <laughs> Anyhow, damn. Because he goes. He goes By the way, Edo is I visibly selected... Edo is visibly hurt. <laughs> yeah. I have been selectively recruiting potential candidates for you this entire goddamn time, and you have not picked up on any of it. Do you know how hard oh, those girls right, are working? Oh, right, right, right. Oh, big surprise. Mother wants to pick a girl for me. Right, this is just like... Oh, right. This is just like down. the dance. This is just like the school dance that you that you orchestrated. It was on a different day. None of the schoolmates were there, and you just orchestrated a bunch of actors to come and play like I was in poor what who does that? Who does Jesus. And you know what? I had to pay those people to clap. <laughs> uh, they charge by the clap. All right. So <laughs> what what are we what, what are we doing? What 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 are we doing here? What's I see you're traipsing around with another uh girlish who who is what is this? What is this? Someone I'm not <laughs> sleeping with. I'll give you. I'll give you that information. Oh, I'm, I'm Lua sure. is all about this conversation. <laughs> she is. She is loving the mama drama. 
<laughs> Lua's got some popcorn that she's gotten what, from what a, you, from you, a, from a, a girl staples. of the week. Is that is this who is this girl of the week? Which week is mother, this? Mother, I, dude, I have not been sleeping with. This is an employee. I'll have you know that I own a business, a legitimate business. Wow! Well, I, 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 I wouldn't go so far as to call me an employee. Are are you, you can, some kind of dude, monster creature from? Could you could you not be cool for five? Bitch. Seconds? Could you... <laughs> Oh, pardon me for mistaking this. What are you? <laughs> I'm about to be the fucking end of your life if you don't shut your mouth. <laughs> oh, please, I've met a thousand people who've said the same thing. Listen. Trust me, if it were that me. easy, if it were that easy to kill her, I would have done that years ago. Mm. That's true. Ah. And I'll always love you for that. <laughs> so, here's the deal. <laughs> I assume you came here because of our little the kid here. The kidnapping of my town? Yes, you told you stole people, innocent people that had nothing to do with this and and a very promising young chef that I was grooming to take over they take over as head liaison of a hotel business. We were starting companies, and you messed it up. I didn't do any of that. You know that. Let's be cool with the grooming language. He was making (laughs) great eggs, Woodhouse. He was making eggs, Woodhouse, and it was perfect. (laughs) Perfect. I gotta, I'll be right back. I gotta take care of something real quick. Yeah, Rob is not. Rob has not informed. <laughs> Rob did not inform me of any of this. This is not. <laughs> I did not know any of this. So your mom did all this. Yeah, he's gonna be if, if, to hear that. That's what he's gonna do. I want to be very clear. This me fervently wanting to talk to this woman was not. I did not know any of this, and I'm very angry. <laughs> Well, she's your mom. Fucking so. Mallory. <laughs> but she's the... So what now, then? She's got you, and she orchestrated all this. Then tell her to let the let those fuckers go, and then, and then call your mom. Damn. She might have orchestrated this, but if she's... If she's in, if she's in charge of the nine hands, that means she's the other... She's still the other side of the pendulum, which means... She's against the Herzog. She m- probably manipulated him into grabbing our townsfolk, but well, she can manipulate him right now. If if Herzog doesn't care, I mean, I, she I goes, think she does. She goes, well, I'm glad you picked up on some subtlety, but yeah. what's going on? But frankly, matters have kind of. I don't want to say they're out of my control. They're not. They're not out of my control. You know that. Of course, nothing yes. would ever be under outside of your control, or else the world would crumble, and you'd have to find, you'd have to settle down and find a man. I mean, literally, <laughs> I had to chase you across half the world, but you're here. So, <laughs> uh, she goes. We are in a little bit of a pickle, and I do think that uh, you might be actually the right person for the job for this. I'm only Holy here to shot. help. We're we're only here to. My team is only here to save my save my cook. I the townspeople and my blacksmith, the blacksmith and the cook and the other townspeople. But well, so your, how do I do the, that? The dragonborn blacksmith. The what? Yes. Oh, well, that's gonna be a problem. Um, the woman who has deal. intimate knowledge of the makings with of my guns, mother. The oh, guns that I like, made that are not patented yet because of the court systems that don't allow fast tracks of patents for criminals? Huh? That, <laughs> Brett Smith? Well, if you would just... I should never have given you that gun when you were four. I swear, I've regretted it. <laughs> I have regretted it ever since. Okay, that, that gun you gave me was a... Was a that was a toy. That was a one-shot burst. This, this I'm is fine. 
that was you found inside of this uh, drawer that was next to my bed that you took, and I just was. Yeah, that well, I took I, and take made better and made better. Was that a gun she found, or? Uh... Yes, it was a gun. It was. Yeah, right what was to, like, what was where, right next to? What was that gun weapons. shaped like? It's just a normal pea shooter. It was right next to that that mm. sword. Oh, I better shot that, peas. No, it was right next to that <laughs> that one sword in the drawer that that vibrated. That oh god, oh Jesus, mom, how many lives am I living? Oh, oh grow up. Everyone does it. Oh Jesus. <laughs> and I do it. <laughs> she does it a lot. I bet. <laughs> Uh, so she goes, How do I save my people? Where's the blacksmith? All right, here's the deal. I'm sure you're aware of what's going on in this city. You've kept up with the news. I'm sure you read occasionally. What's that now? I'll take that as a no. <laughs> Herzog has in his mind that he's trying to resurrect a... He thinks that dragons are real. He's trying to create a real dragon and doing so by sacrificing dragonborn people. It's complete lunacy. There's no such thing as dragons in the world. The last dragon died. Dude, of course, course. of course we know that that's just delusional. Jude, put your hood up. Now, uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> but uh, what does that have to do with us? Well, at the beginning of every ceremony, he takes a group of... Uh, well, at the beginning of after uh, initial bout uh, of entertaining, uh, wrestle matching, gladiator fighting, he <laughs> tends to take a group of uh, dragonborn and sacrifice them for his transformation experiment. Uh, that happens with no jury, no trial, and it usually happens fairly violently. Now, your other townsfolk will stand before the Herzog, the High Regent, and he will probably declare them to be seditious, guilty, and to be executed on the morrow. He will not likely execute them on the spot. He may have a chance to rescue them from their chambers. At a later yeah. date. At a later at a later date. At night. Sneak mission. Now, but what about the, the drag is... what what about the what about the our dragonborn uh, smith. What about her? That's complicated. Unless you have someone on the inside, someone who's actually down at the pit, it will be difficult. <laughs> um, I suppose you don't have... You don't seem like you planned for that, but I'll go ahead and assume that you don't well, have anyone on the inside. Well, so lucky for there. you, of course we do. Our other member, K, on my orders, has infiltrated mm -hmm. that place already, and is the leader of that group of gladiators as we speak. What was he okay. supposed to actually we be doing? What, what was he? What was he? What was his actual plan? What was he doing? I was scoping the place out. No, I'm asking that to Lou. Yeah, I remember. This is me talking oh. out of my ass. I don't. Yeah. I don't think you're in the. Gladi I thought you were just <laughs> okay. roaming around. I don't think you're in there. I'm yeah. lying. We're gonna jump. <laughs> I, with you saying that, we're gonna jump back to K and the unforgiving. The what? The Minotaur. <laughs> I'm like, then I'm just like, oh my god, and I walk straight up to the Minotaur. I'm like, oh man, are you, are you a Minotaur? I, I've never, are you, I, can I, man, this is great. You don't, do you speak, do you speak common? Andy. You don't speak, okay, he doesn't speak. Uh, Bobby, Bobby, are you typing? Oh. Yeah, sorry. It's, it's like really loud. <laughs> You're right. Andy, are you on mute? Hmm? Is Andy on mute? I don't think so. Okay. He's just not talking to the bugbear. Yeah. Well, uh, listen, I'm a big fan. Uh, I've, I've just got, I think Manitores are cool. You know, I used to have the posters and stuff when I was a kid. Listen, you don't want to hear all this. You're, you're clearly busy. Um, Listen, do you know where we go on, or is this, is this the group? Do we this all- This is your first time in the ring. <laughs> it is. 
Well, let me tell you something, son. I'm the best there is here. My name's Magnus. Pleased to meet you. And he puts his hand out. Oh, so, man, I want to I wanna do the Redditor handshake. <laughs> yeah, they're like... Yes. <laughs> yes. Like, in on it, oh, like, I knew it. Yeah. Minotaurs are badass. I'm Kagor Snow. And I'm, I'm a big fan, man. I hope we get to fight alongside each other. Well, let me tell you something. You're going to need a new name because that's damn hard to pronounce. And listen, you know what? I'll give you some free advice, kid. When you make a speech in the ring, it's really important that you can enunciate your opponent's name. It's especially important that your opponent can enunciate your name, because name recognition is everything in this game. So don't you forget it, that one's free. Well, I, look, I appreciate it. And I only got one thing that I want to say to you. Wait, no. Wait, what was your name? <laughs> Magnus. I only got one thing to say to you. Magnus. Kurgorg. Snigorg. Klikagurg. They'll be chanting it out there. You listen. We'll see about that, kid. <laughs> Listen, what's up with these other two? Like, I this is my first time. Are we are we one team and we go fight another team? I we fight another have team? no idea. <laughs> <laughs> the other what, what is the situation? Nobody's explained it to me. <laughs> you are the leader of a gladiator team. You oh, okay, so this there. is my team. Yeah, you uh Okay. You don't actually kill each other. Yeah. Like this, you you do a, a fake fight for the crowd. No way. Then... <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're gonna wrestle. The Matt. crowd does not know that. <laughs> <laughs> but, like uh, the guy, uh, one of the guy walks up and he's uh, he's this. Uh, his name's Pretty Boy Lip. And, yeah. Um, he uh, let's. Where is he, dude? Oh no. What's your name? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. That's because I'm on the wrong. I'm on the other person. Yeah. There he He's is. still not there on that. So he walks up and he goes, he goes, and he, he like puts his hair over his side and he goes, hey man, you look, uh, you look a little lost, brother. Let me uh, ask you something. You got some stage presence because you're among the big boys now, man. We're the real this kid needs a name, a wrestling name. Ooh. I'm gonna call him Furry. <laughs> no, 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 no. The Furry. The oh, Furry. No, no, no. I like it, kid. No, 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 Everybody, no, no, no. come after me and meet the Furry. No, 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 no. That's not just... <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy. No, I'm no. so happy. <laughs> no, stop! You stop! You stop! You stop! <laughs> My name is Kurt Cor. My name is Kurgor Snorkakar. It's not going to take What? Speak my wrestling still, name, I can't hear you. <laughs> my wrestling <laughs> name. My wrestling name is going to be Sir Pursuit. Pursuit the furry. I got to say, yeah, I think we got to work the furry in. It's a good angle. <laughs> pursuit, man, come on. And he like, he like, he like pulls your shirt open more. So like, more. <laughs> yeah, like using my hair out. Like, Sir, pursuit, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I take off some of the wraps. Like you guys are wrapping up your arms, but I'm unwrapping my arms. So <laughs> and let's go. All right, man, this is uh, what we got to do is just please the crowd. Just like we rehearsed, right? Unforgiving. That's right. So oh, we're gonna okay. go up there. All right, <laughs> listen. Let me let me ask you a question, furry. Yeah. Hey, it's are, you, are you gonna be a heel or a face? Because I'm getting <laughs> a heel vibe from you. I'm the face. I'm the face. <laughs> mm. You know, uh, I've been I've been in this game for a while, and I, I think you're a heel. <laughs> you hear Trust from me, the far distance. Like, it's Don't look on his face. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, another wrestler comes up, and his name is Squid. And he goes, "Hey, it's uh, it's really not so bad being uh, Keith. It's uh, you get you all you you just play the bad guy, right? That's all you gotta do. You play the bad guy, they beat you up. They're the big 
the, the champions, you go home, you get lots of money. It's, it's not so bad. You, Let are, me ask you, you, you got to pay your dues, kid. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, this is my first time. I'm not here to, 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 to you know, change how it, how it goes. So, uh, listen, if you'll just stop calling me, stop calling me furry. Call me Sir <laughs> I'll be whatever, I'll be the whatever heel, ankle, foot, whatever you need. So you said, you said your name's the Furry Circus? Is that what no, you're saying? I would have said Sir suit, man. All right, let me go let the heralds know. <laughs> he yells <laughs> that. He's like, hey, we got a new one in the lineup. The Furry Circus. <laughs> yes! You got it. Hey, hey, do you know how to jump, kid? Make it the Flying Furry Circus. That sounds good. It has a ring to it. <laughs> Flying furry circus. Oh my god! They, they, put, they put a little post-it note on your locker. It says "Flying furry circus." <laughs> I never thought I wanted something so bad. <laughs> oh man! Okay. This is um, you hear the crowds outside are starting to. Uh, they're starting to fill in, and you you kind of hear a hush since it, like. The, the crowd goes a little bit silent, right? You hear that, kid? It's almost time. Hope you're ready. <laughs> you hear drums go boom, 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 boom. Uh, and hopping back outside to uh, Lua and uh, Ito. So say, so, so say hypothetically we did have a guy on the inside and could get one really fast. What, what would we do? How do we... How do we Save the smith. So, well, likely you'll have a battle, and usually the champions of the little match are the ones who uh, are given the privilege of conducting the executions by Herzog. I, he gives the command, and that the winner will do the execution performance. Um, so, if you perchance had someone on the inside. I certainly hope that that person is a leader and is capable of handling a very intense situation which would require them to like literally stand up and take the spotlight. Well, well, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, then good good thing I was lying. Good thing I was lying and Kay's not actually in there. It would be bad. Why do you think that that Kay cannot do this? I mean, it's meek, meek individual. Kay, he he's not really a he's not really a a, a showman. He's more of a brute. Yeah. Kay, well, good thing he's you, behind. Good thing he's sneaking that? around. Good thing he's sneaking around. I mean, how about the fact that he's a rogue? Kind of leads to the idea that maybe he's not a big showman. That's yeah. not the craziest idea. <laughs> <laughs> he, I'm hey, very. You know, we never know. He just not Trey, Trey is looking forward to be to Ito being proven wrong. Go out there and show <laughs> off, King. Be the champion. Uh, is there any way that we can, as just people, just jump in? Can we just can we just jump in the middle of this gladiator With a steel chair? <laughs> can yeah? Can we? It would be difficult. I'm not saying that you shouldn't do it if it comes down to it, because if you try and stop the, or even refuse the execution, that will have consequences. And eventually, you may need to help out whoever is on the inside, um, because I'm okay. sure that Herzog will not take kindly to that. All right, and, we stop. Uh, All right, so we stop the execution, we run, and we run after we somehow grab her when she's being executed, escape with her, hide out, then the next day we try and save the, the rest of the townspeople in the now, dead of the, night. The issue you're going to run into is you can't jump in there too soon. If you do it too soon, the whole, the whole thing is off. There's, and she points out in the crowd, she goes, there are guards in the crowd who are all armed with, and you look around and you see veteran uh, soldiers standing in the crowd overlooking the pit, all armed with a uh, large double crossbow. Okay. Because you don't want to be noticed too soon. 
then we just have to hope that whoever that champion is who wins this bout is the with somehow for some reason spare our smith let's see who that is right so uh you as you're looking on uh the crowd goes quiet and you see uh, uh ito's gonna move as close to the front of the crowd as he can as close to like the actual front of the pit okay Malo her name's Malaru. Malaru, uh, she, yeah, she, I know. She uh, uh, right, right here for you, just for you, buddy. And just like <laughs> lowers her hat and like puts on her sunglasses and lowers her hat and like pretends like she doesn't know you. Um, and and she looks at Lou and goes, "Just get checked." <laughs> um, just get what? <laughs> get checked <laughs> I'm sure if you're not experiencing any discomfort then that you're probably immune to it get immune to oh get no <laughs> I don't I don't I don't let uh any of these like lessers uh touch me I don't want to know what's going on between you two I just that's my advice. Take or leave it. Mm. What's your name again? Malaru. Malaru Leon. Malaru, that's a dumbass name, and I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who are you? What princess of the kingdom? I am a fucking princess. Yeah. I'll cut your fucking legs off and make you get on your <laughs> knees. So you don't watch your tone. Go help him make sure that he doesn't die. And, uh, she... Is, is there any further interaction with you, Lua? <laughs> I, I, I'm, I like, a half second a... away from casting Polymorph on her, but I'm holding off for now. <laughs> Let's fuck okay. this place up. Okay, so, um, she, uh, She's just a bitter old woman, basically. Um, she's a spitting. I she's would exactly who you think Ito's mother would be. Is, is kind of what... I, I, I did not know any of this was happening, but I would kill her and or die for her. Bitter <laughs> <laughs> suicide. Wait, is she the so, queen? Am I the prince? No. She. Let me let me clarify where her position is in the order. She works for the queen. She is the head of the agency that works for the queen. She's Nick Fury. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Okay. She's, she's literally Mallory Archer. Gotcha. Gotcha. That makes you Archer. Yes. <laughs> You've been very pretty <laughs> I, this entire time. I have an erection right now. Keep going with the story. <laughs> oh, you and your erections. And who's going to clean up these donuts and little track ants? Okay. Uh, Do you want ants? Because that's how you get ants. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, as you guys are standing, the crowd gets quiet. The, the drums start beating deeper. Boom, 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 boom. You see... Uh, you see Herzog, there's a raised platform, and I'm going to go ahead and show you the map. Um, there's a raised platform, and uh, you see there's a crowd of people. Uh, there's a lot more people in the stands than what I'm actually showing, but uh, you see them all stand up and start cheering as they see Herzog step onto a, plat a center platform that's raised above the pit. Uh, behind him stands his son Tom York and a woman in clad in, in uh, armor of the guard uh, standing behind him. And you see him come out with his arms raised and and everyone goes wild. The whole crowd goes, yeah! And then he uh, looks down and he goes, bring out the fugitives and Oh, that's not Herzog Warner's voice. He, in, in Herzog Warner's voice, he says, bring out the fugitives. 
and you see uh, a group of your townsfolk brought out into the center of the uh, of the pit. And when they're brought out, the crowd goes wild. The crowd goes, they're all screaming and throwing food at them and throwing various things. And he goes, this crowd of individuals has been declared seditious and has been declared guilty. And you see it. all of your townsfolk are just like Strut. Is that fucking Wee Wicked right there? That is. Son of a bitch. <laughs> and you see them all go, uh, he goes, come tomorrow, all of you will be executed for the crime of sedition against the kingdom during its time of absolute crisis. What a trial. In the time of our greatest need when we have Every threat against us when the darkness is encroaching. You have chosen to assault my family and my children and have disappeared my youngest. For that, this township will be executed in the morning. And the crowd goes wild and they're all. And he goes, he goes, he goes, and with that, I would like to bring out our gladiators, our entertainment for the night. We have, and and all of a sudden the, the drum go, doom, 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 doom. <laughs> um, and you see, kind of goose stepping out, is Pretty Boy Lip, followed by, uh, Squib. Walking out, and I'm gonna jump back down to, K. And uh, the prisoners are led. They're, they're brought out from one of these doors on the north side. And they're brought to the center. They're being held during their trial. And then they are led opposite door and into this, uh, down here, this doorway. And they're led back one single file into the darkness. How many uh, guards are there around? Uh, roll perception. Whoops. Oh, uh, that's a uh, thirteen. Okay. Not six or seven. You see around you in the crowd. There are various guards who are interspersed among the commoners who, if you look really closely at the commoners, you're like, like, there's some clear guards, these guys here. Mm -hmm. But while you're not sure what, you don't, you have a feeling, you, you are not able to pinpoint it, but you have a feeling that those are not the only guards visible. That there are more guards in the crowd. Um, so, but the crowd, again, is is a is a mass of human and all manner of races, bullywugs, elves, orcs. Everybody's in this crowd. They're all like screaming at the top of their lungs, bloodthirsty as fuck. Um, these are Roman Colosseum type folk. Anyhow, <clears throat> um, these. Uh, the uh, you see the your townsfolk are being led back into a uh, gladiator exit, and they're led down and essentially disappear into a tunnel. Now, as that is that happening that? on on the opposite end, you see uh, pretty boy Lip and Whip both step out of the portal, and I'm going to jump down to uh, K, and uh, it's your time to shine. Magnus! Magnus. <laughs> I walk out there, too. Get it. Ready. Do you have any words of advice before you step out? Just follow our lead, kid. We'll take care of you. Okay. Hey, listen. Uh, 
You know what? Never mind. I'll let you know later. Is it going to be a heartfelt moment of like, Okay. Hmm? Anyways, I said there's gonna be like a heartfelt moment where like you like reveal your feelings. But okay. no, <laughs> Edo has okay. redheads. K has minotaurs. K thinks they're fucking cool. He is not like trying to fuck them. No. Okay. No. That's, you actually to each don't. his own. Have to fuck to each his own. It's whatever. Um, Rob, can you give me uh, control over that man? Absolutely. Just so when, when it comes to it, I can start with them around. Put you in all players' journals, and I'm going to give you Rob. Yep, I got it. Cool. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll look down. Uh, I'm, like, surveying, trying to figure out what's going on, and then, like, oh, good, Kay's actually down there. All right, if he went, oh, my God, that's Magnus. Oh, my God. So, like, Magnus, comes, when he comes out, he's, like, slowly pointing, like, all the way around the crowd. And, like, as he points at each section, like, everybody cheers in that section. <laughs> and then after, and after he goes all the way around, he goes, like, whoa, and does a huge, a huge pose. Um, uh, I just sent you a message there. Uh uh, Rob, is this music? No, it's it's, okay. it's. I whispered something to you there in roll twenty. Um, oh, in, in roll he's, twenty. He's just like uh, he's like he after the whole crowd gets pumped up or whatever he strikes his pose and he's wearing he's wearing chainmail but it's like somehow really revealing you know what I mean like <laughs> <laughs> like you can see all his muscles it's like. It's like, the yeah, links, the links yeah, exactly. The gaps it's between huge. The links just show off the nipples. Perfectly. Yeah, like <laughs> super huge. <laughs> so, yeah, exactly. Like, the, the drum beats are starting to, they're like, doom, mm -hmm. doom, doom, doom. And you guys are like walking around, like giving each other high fives prior to like things going. And mm -hmm. um, you hear, you hear Herzog, he goes, he raises his hands and the crowd goes quiet. He goes, today's battle is actually a very special event. I have a very unique situation that I would like to enjoy for the company. I uh, scream boo at him. Boo! Who is that? Who is that? Who are you? You're doing great. Good heel work. <laughs> Get on with it. <laughs> great. Get some ass. Not talk. Uh, Herzog looks around, he's a little confused, he's like, okay, I'm just not, I'm, you know, I own the, the that's fine. Get on with Everyone. it! We're going to have, today, a battle to the death between the gladiators under the Forgiven and the gladiators of the Black Guard. And on each side of the uh, ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba -ba the entrances, uh, four more guards step out. Only two of them are in very black armor. And they step out, and the crowd goes, boo, and he goes, stop booing. Stop booing. These are, these are not, these are the good guys. I boo him too. Yeah. Roll, uh, roll performance with you. Oh yeah, I'm good at that. Hold on. Ooh, yeah. Uh, that's a fifteen uh, plus four for a nineteen. I got an eighteen. Whoo! You got an eight. Eighteen. Eighteen. Nice. As you go, boo! You see people in the crowd go, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I'm like those egging them on, guys. like, yeah, fuck that guy, fuck those guys. <laughs> and then, and I'm like, yeah. You see Herzog go, fine, fine. And he goes, just to make things a little bit interesting, I'm going to We're throw gonna in shut a up. little bit of what I like to call a twist. And he throws in 
a uh, he casts what is called a flesh to stone. I gotta pull. Up, sorry, guys, I gotta pull up that thing. Mm -hmm. da -da 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 -da. Uh, which is going to he's going to attempt to turn one creature Except. into stone. So he sits there and he looks at Squib and he goes, I believe today is not your lucky day. And he casts Flesh of Stone. This guy is going to make a uh, da -da 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 constitution saving throw. Mm -hmm. uh, with... This is... Okay, he's got a Plus three to constitute. Unfortunately, oh, he got a twenty-two. Okay, <laughs> yeah, Hell yeah, that's my boy. Let's so go, Squid. Uh, so Bernard Herzog has a what's his shit? What's his spell casting? Spell save at twenty-one. Oh no! He fucking saves. Yeah. <laughs> he goes. He goes. Today is not your lucky day, and he casts. Flesh to stone on this guy who resists it and he goes, I meant today is not your lucky day. And he points at, uh, he points <laughs> at, um, uh, pretty, boy. pretty boy. No. And, he's, and he casts, uh, let's see. I mean, honestly, he, he might just may just point at him and just like, uh, he's going to pass, uh, Bigby's hand. Just grabbing him. That's two spell slots. He, he, he should snipe that motherfucker. Uh, he's going to be involved in this. Wait. Trey is looking at the spell he just cast, and I don't think that Verno Herzog is someone to be fucked with right now. Mm. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Flesh to Stone is like a level six spell, so that's a. Yeah. It's, the, the save DC was only 21. Yeah. <laughs> only. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Yeah, he's going to do uh, what's going to be clenched fist. And um, he has a plus 15 to hit. So it's going to be 4d8 plus. He's making shit up now. Check it out. <laughs> Our, it, I'd like to grab the feast of. Hey! Oh, who's that? Is that Cynthia? Oh, yeah, that was Cynthia. Yeah. Oh, I, see you, buddy. I miss those vegan treats. <laughs> I know, right? Hey, uh, where are we? Are, are me and Ito anywhere like in this arena right now? Yes, you all are in the I'll put you in there. Uh, there's Mallory, and I'm going to say that you guys are, uh, you can place yourself. I'm going to put I, you here. I ran up people? to the over oh, here. So. Yeah, if Mallory was over here, I said I ran up to the front, so I'm probably like over here. Lua, I'll put you wherever you want to be. <clears throat> You guys are currently incognito. Um, you're just some faces in the stand. Uh, Magnus isn't uh, pleased about this uh, tomfoolery with magic spells from President of the Wrestling Federation. He basically ran down with a chair and like hit this guy over there. Yeah. He's gonna take Nick. He's gonna take 19 damage. Plus 2d8. Um, just start. So that's 19 plus. Sorry, 18. That's plus 30. 11 damage. Oh, okay. 29 damage. Okay. He's, so Pretty Boy Lip is immediately just basically invisibly hit with a metal chair and takes 29 minutes. Oh! I want, I want to run over and dropkick Herzog? You're going to run and dropkick Pretty Boy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Just jump out like that was it. He just set it off. Let's go. <laughs> no, that was that was that was Herzog that that attacked Pretty Boy. I know. Yeah. He just set it off. Let's go. And, and also, and also, on, we the four of us are supposed to wrestle these dudes that don't in the ring, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah, unless you're betraying guy, us, oh, unless no, you're I betraying didn't... us, like that's an <laughs> awesome, awesome heel move if that's what you're doing. <laughs> Well, no, I did not pick up on that, and I thought since there were heels and faces that we well, were I fighting. Tackle him, dude. Yeah, well, he pulled a he pulled a switcheroo on us. We didn't know this no, was going to happen. No, because I thought we were. I thought I didn't think we were going to fight. I thought we were the only wrestlers, and I thought the guards were going to stay there. But yeah, if it's us against the guards, then yeah. If K knows that, then yeah, he's not going to attack. He betrayed us here, and well, we just been, doing I'll a show been. match. I cheated! Oh man, what the fuck, ref? Yeah. 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 I do kind of love the idea. He's like always he's looking the wrong way. <laughs> oh god! I just kind of love the idea of like he invisibly attacks that guy, and you're like, "It's no time to go and drop kick him." <laughs> well, but yeah, but I don't. I thought he was an al- I thought he was an enemy. If he's an ally, I don't want to yeah. do that. Yeah. It's good TV, man. Really good TV, though. Okay. But well, what's that case uh, coming out of nowhere with that chair? It's coming with that chair. Oh god. <laughs> It's man. He's that like, man has a family. Like, <laughs> he's attacking with his own team. Oh, the Federation's got to have his head. It's not a good <laughs> but the All fans right, are so, loving it. The fans are loving it. Oh my God! <laughs> Let's go ahead and roll initiative, guys. Yeah. In combat, um, it's right now. It's just between the four of you now. Uh. Ito and Mua, if you all want to get involved, you can roll initiative now Fuck. and jump in when you are ready, if you want. However, if it looks like they got it, you can sit this out and, and you know... Well, lua has got some coffee. stuff to do. Just eat your popcorn. We got this. But Lua rolled poorly on her initiative. <laughs> Ito rolled a 10. She got a 5 total. Yeah. Uh, I got uh, an 18. I have no bonus, so Magnus got an 18. All right, let me let me get everybody situated. At... Yeah, I you got guys 15. just go ahead and roll. Yeah, 15. Okay, you got a 15. Cool. Uh, what what did you get? Magnus had an 18. Yeah, the unforgiving. <laughs> Uh, what did you get, Edo? Ten. That's abbreviated. Um, everybody, that's the player. I'm not gonna do Jude. Jude's gonna sit this out. He's waiting in the stands for something to pop off. Yeah. Open fireball. He's back up. He's back up. Oh, that's cool. Uh, pretty boy. Rolled a seven, uh, and this guy rolled a squid. Rolled a three. Great, great job, squid. Uh, Having the ball. Gladiator. Black guard rolled. A, wow, rolled really good. Team rolled a seven. This guy rolled a three. Also, okay. So it is. It is. Us wrestlers against all, all four of these guards, right? Four guards. Okay. Put these in order. But the guards are on one team, right? He said there were two different guards, like two different factions of guards? No. The guards... Two uh, guards came from each entrance. The, yeah, but they're two... What are the differences between these two guards, types of guards? One's like a black guard and one's something else? One's a gladiator. But it's, it's so just, they're it's just a, different levels. They're on the same team. They're not. Like, just, just, okay, different levels of, of guard. I got you. I got you. Different abilities. What do, they, what do they look like? Can you can you paint us a little word picture on these fools? Uh, the gladiators look uh, like seasoned fighters of the B League. So your your group is the A League. You guys are the flash, right? You guys are the mm-hmm. you guys are the, the spice of the league. These guys this? are the, the, the heavy hitters, but they're not they're not flashy. Now 
This guy that fun. you just pulled up looks like a gladiator trying to cosplay as a Final Fantasy character. That's yeah. correct. I mean, that's, that's now, the look they're going for. Now, this, this guy guy's, here, yeah, looks pretty serious. Yeah, this is some Warframe shit right here. <laughs> right. These guys are, they are the personal guard of, of Herzog-ish, and, and he likes to, he likes to, every once in a while, remind people that he's around. He's got some, he's got some um, you see next to Herzog, the uh, this woman kind of like looks. She's like, 